Okay. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about our new exciting feature, which is the Android Remote for Impress, and show you how to get that set up on Linux. Some of this stuff will apply to Windows too, so, um, and of course uh, a Mac. So first of all, we need to turn on the Impress Remote. So here we're going to go to the Tools, and Options, and when you, you have to run Impress to see this setting, but you should see a LibreOffice Impress thing down here, and this little guy here is enabling the remote control. We turn this guy on, now there's a little trick here, we have to actually exit the application to restart it. That's unfortunate, maybe we'll fix that in future. So, now we should be all set up, let's make sure Bluetooth is enabled. Bluetooth is on, that's great. And let's load up a document. And that's pretty much the PC side of it, we're good to go. If you see we've got another screen to the side here, which is sort of, uh, imagine that's a projector. Okay, now we're going to look at the Android uh, tablet and show you how to set up the Android side of it. So uh, here we have a Google uh, Nexus 7, beautiful machine. Hopefully you can see that nicely. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to the Play Store, um, and, ah, well that's kind of cheating. But here we go, we search for LibreOffice Impress Remote, and here it is. So we go Install, and it needs only the Bluetooth access, and it can use the network uh, via Wi-Fi, but of course we prefer uh, to use Bluetooth for very security reasons. So the, the Wi-Fi mode isn't set up unless you're in uh, an experimental mode. So, okay, well that's installed. But before we uh, go too much further here, I think we need to get these two devices paired. So to do that, we're, we're going to come to Bluetooth here, and we're going to click the Nexus 7 at the top and make this device visible to the laptop over here. So coming to the laptop, uh, we're going to uh, right click on the Bluetooth icon here and go set up a new device and this is of course the Linux flow, it'll differ uh, for various different um, distributions but there's our Nexus 7, uh, we want to pair with that so it goes away and it connects and it wants to check here that the pin is right of course the pin is right, uh, that's fine so we'll say that matches so we've now successfully set up these two devices, they can actually see each other this is really just stock Bluetooth. So now we're going to move to the Android device. And we're going to come and we're going to launch that application we just installed. You can find it. Here it is. Um, not to confuse it with our prototype uh, uh, version, but here, here we go. So that's the Impress Remote. And it will look on Bluetooth and it will find a computer, not very imaginatively named. Connect to that. And then, of course, we have the opportunity to start the presentation. So perhaps best, uh, we'll click that. And here we are. Let's make that a bit bigger. And so here you can see, uh, ha, ha, ha. you can see that I need to switch these two guys over, which I will do. Uh, luckily we have a pretty exchange button there to do that. So now we're projecting something pretty. Uh, we can see over here on the laptop we have our speaker notes from the present presenter view. Oh, we can have a speaker notes. We have the next slide. Um, and uh, you can see as I as I start to move over here, the, the presentation, of course follows where we're going. So that's pretty nice. And uh, were we to have speaker notes, and I, I tend not to uh, actually use them, uh, then we could uh, have those below here and you, you would see them nicely. And so that's one way you can switch slides. There's another way, which is to use this tiled view. And so you can pick a slide uh, from this set that looks interesting. Let's try this guy up here that has some uh, view of tinderboxes on it. And then we get that, of course, or uh, maybe another slide that looks interesting. Uh, we want to jump back we can scroll through these and pick say a new feature, Libra logo, something really cool. Because sometimes you don't want to be looking at this thing, you want to bang through slides quickly so then you can use the volume control which is on the side of my notebook here and you can click that and that'll move beautifully and show you all the nice new features in my FOSDEM LibreOffice 4 presentation. So that really in a nutshell is just a quick uh, demo of the Android remote and the cool things that it can do to you. Thanks so much to Google Summer of Code for funding it and for Andre Hunt for doing a lot of the hard work. Thank you.